So, you're looking for a high quality record player for the holiday season, but you don't know what to get. Well, today, I'm gonna help you out. Hey friends, welcome back to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today I'm gonna to share with you all my top five record players or turntables for the holiday shopping season of 2019. Now, I did a video just like this last year, and since then there's been a few other turntables that have come out, so I figured I'd make an update. Also, I'll be letting you know which speakers and amplifiers you can pair these turntables with, and that way you can have everything you need for your vinyl setups to work properly. And if you wanna check out all of this stuff for yourself and do your own research and get the updated prices, the links will be in the video description down below. All right, so let's talk turntables. Number five, the Audio-Technica LP60X. For about $100, the LP60 has always been a great beginner's turntable, but now Audio-Technica has improved on that design and given us the LP60X for the same price. So the LP60X is a belt-driven turntable that spins at both 33 and 45 RPM speeds, and that allows you to play both the standard 12-inch albums, like the ones you see on the wall behind me here, and also the seven inch singles. It also comes with a built-in preamp, so you don't need to buy one of those separately. You can just hook it right up to your receiver or a pair of active speakers and you're good to go. Now, when comparing it to the older model, what exactly did they improve on the LP60X? Well, they redesigned the tone arm base and the head shell for better tracking. They upgraded the AC power adapter so it doesn't introduce noise. And most important of all, it looks really cool. Whereas the previous model had kind of rounded corners and was one solid color. The new LP60X has a modern square design and offers some cool two-tone color combinations like black and brown, black and silver, black and red, or the standard solid black. So you got a few options. Now it also comes with a replaceable stylus and even though it's not the best record needle around, it will get the job done and it won't damage your records, which is pretty important. And finally, the other accessories include Included are the AC power cable, a 45 RPM adapter, a detachable RCA cable in case you want to upgrade that later on, a felt mat, and of course, the dust cover. You know, to keep the dust off. Now, if you're looking to save money, you can pair this turntable with the Mica PB42X active speakers, which sound pretty good and already have the amplifier built inside. So with just those two items, you can start playing your records. So overall, the LP60X is a good value, and in my opinion, a great turntable to get started. Number four, the Audio-Technica LP120X USB. Now, if you're looking for something with better build quality that's gonna last you even longer, Audio-Technica has also upgraded their classic LP120 and given us the LP120X USB. Now, I love my LP120. I think it's a great turntable with awesome build quality, but that being said, the new version is even better. Just like the previous model, the LP120X USB is a direct drive turntable, which spins at 33, 45, and 78 RPM. So you got lots of options when it comes to playing different types of records. It has a built-in preamp, so you don't need to buy one separately. It has a USB connection in the back if you wanna hook it up to your computer. And as far as the colors, it comes in both black and silver. Now, some of the upgrades on the LP120X USB include a detached attachable RCA cable, which the previous model did not have, an improved ATHS6 head shell, and a VM95E cartridge, a better anti-skate system, and as I just mentioned, a better built-in preamp, which a lot of people had issue with on the older model. Now, as far as the design goes, it basically still looks the same from the outside, but if you look a little closer, you might notice some of those small improvements. Also, they've removed the feature of playing records backwards, which honestly, I never really use in the first place. But you still get the pitch control slider and the quartz lock for fine tuning the speed. So those are still the same, those are still there. And as far as the other accessories, it also comes with the AC power cable, a 45 RPM adapter, a felt mat, and of course, the dust cover. Now, as far as amplifiers and speakers are concerned, in my personal setup, I paired the LP120 with a Yamaha RS200 
201 receiver, which is this guy right here. And unfortunately, they've stopped making this model, but its successor, the RS202, is just as good, and it also has Bluetooth. So you can play music off your phone, which is nice. And then finally, I added the Klipsch RP150M passive speakers to this receiver, and the sound really shines. It sounds great. So basically, this whole combination worked for me, and I know it'll work for you too. Number three, the Fluence RT85. Now this turntable is the one you see behind me right here, and it's the most recent addition to my collection, and its sound quality is really amazing. So first of all, it's belt driven. It spins at both 33 and 45 RPM. It has an acrylic platter, so you don't even need a record mat. You can just pop your records right down on top of that. It has a solid wood plinth and three adjustable rubber feet to better isolate the turntable. It comes in both piano black and walnut colors, and Best of all, it ships with an Ortofon 2M blue cartridge in the box, which sounds incredible. Now, in addition to all of that good stuff I just mentioned, it also comes with the AC power cable, a 45 RPM adapter, a bubble level, a dust cover, and white cotton gloves so you don't get smudges on it, which is kind of unique. So there's a lot of great things about this turntable, but one downside is that it does not come with a built-in preamp. So if your receiver does not have a phono input in the back, you are gonna need a separate preamp. However, since this turntable is a bit pricier, you can save some money on the preamp and just pick up the Klipsch R15PM active speakers. These speakers are unique because they have both the amplifier and a preamp inside. So with just those two two items, the Fluence RT85 and the Klipsch R15PMs, you'll have everything you need to start playing records. Number two, the U-Turn Orbit Plus. The U-Turn Orbit has always been a solid, reliable turntable that I've mentioned many times before, and over the years, their design hasn't really changed much. I guess they figured, why change a winning formula? And they're right. These turntables sound great, they're simple, and they just work. So what more could you want, really? Now, getting into the details, the Orbit is a belt-driven turntable that spins at 33 and 45 RPM, has an acrylic platter, removable RCA cables, an Ortofon OM5E cartridge, a built-in preamp if you go with the Orbit Plus model, and is available in the colors black, green, blue, white, and red. Also, another thing worth mentioning is that when you buy it, the cartridge already comes pre-installed, calibrated, and ready to play right out of the box. So that makes setting everything up even easier, which I really appreciate, because oftentimes aligning that cartridge is one of the most difficult parts of the setup process, and it's kind of cool that they just take care of that for you. Now, it also comes with an AC power cable, a felt mat, and of course, the dust cover included in the box. And as far as the speakers go, you could pair the Orbit with either the Mica PB42Xs, or if you really want the best sound, you can go with those awesome Klipsch R15PMs. I really love Klipsch, if you couldn't tell already. Their speakers just sound freaking amazing. And finally, number one, the Project Debut Carbon. I'm sure a few of you already guessed this turntable would be at the top of my list, and you were completely right. So unless something better comes out for about the same price or less, it's gonna stay at the top of my list because it's just amazing. So getting into the details, the Debut Carbon is a belt-driven turntable that spins at 33 and 45 RPM. It has a steel platter, detachable RCA cables, pretty stable isolation feet, an Ortofon 2M red cartridge that comes pre-installed and sounds great and is available in a ton of colors including walnut, green, yellow, blue, white, purple, silver, red, and piano black. So you got lots of options to choose from. Also, the biggest feature of this turntable is the tone arm. It's made out of carbon fiber, and according to their website, that decreases unwanted resonances and provides an overall higher fidelity sound. And that's a feature that you'd normally find on a turntable that's way more expensive. Now, it also comes with a 45 RPM adapter, the AC power cord, a felt mat, and the dust cover, but it does not come with a built-in preamp. So, since you still need a pair of speakers to go with this turntable, I'd recommend, yet again, the Klipsch R15PMs. One, because they sound great, 
and two, because as I said earlier, they already have the preamp and amplifier built inside. So if you only want to play records and you're not interested in getting a receiver, then the Project Debut Carbon and the Klipsch R15 PMs would be a good choice. Also, as a side note, Project also makes an acrylic platter version called the Espirit, which has an upgraded power supply and a better motor for another $200 more. It's a little pricey in my opinion, but if you absolutely must have the best sound possible, it's worth looking into. Now, as a bonus, if you're looking to go the other way and actually save money, I'm also adding the Fluence RT81 into this list because it is $300 cheaper than the RT85 and the sound quality is still very good. Also, considering it spins at 33 and 45 RPM, has a built-in preamp, has an Audio-Technica AT95E cartridge that comes pre-aligned and comes in both walnut and piano black finishes, it's a really great value. So if you're turned off by the higher price of the RT85, then this turntable is probably the one you should go for. All right, so that's my list guys. And what do you think about the turntables that I mentioned? Do you have one of these in your setup? And if you do, how do you like it? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you love all things vinyl record related, go ahead and smash this red subscribe button right here and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on the new videos. And most importantly of all friends, have a fantastic day, happy holidays, and keep spinning that vinyl.